Hi, welcome to the video day. It's the 28th of September. It's uh, Wednesday. In today's video, we're going to take a look at three trade setups. They all include the British pound. They're going to be Euro, GBP. Uh, GBP, AUD and GBP, JPY. We'll go to the charts in just a moment. Now, in terms of British pound, it's had a big fall. The majority are looking for the pound to fall further. I personally think in the short term, it's at a bearish extreme and we should see a significant move to the upside uh, before going lower. Now in terms of trading against um, the consensus, be it bullish or bearish in this case, uh, what you always get is good risk reward, low risk against high profit potential. Now the warning signs are there for a British pound bounce already, both in the price action and in the fundamentals and sentiments. So what we're going to do is go and take a look at the trade setups. But just before we go to the charts, um, just in terms of learning all our trading techniques, if you wish to do so, and checking out our daily technical sentiment analysis of 14 FX pairs, there's a link beneath this video where you can get life access to our member center. You can also join our free mailing list, uh, follow us on Facebook and join our Facebook group of traders as well. Right, let's go take a look at the opportunities. All right, I'm starting with uh, GBP USD. Now, in terms of why am I starting with it? Because it's the high volume pair. And what has happened in this pair today is significant in the crosses. Okay, so the price action here obviously spills into the crosses that we're going to look at. Now, in terms of pound, it's had a nice reversal to the upside today. In terms of my view on the USD, I think it's going to be the strongest currency going forward. So from my perspective, I don't want to buy the pound on the USD. I'd rather buy the pound on what I would consider to be weaker currencies. Now, pound, yeah, for anyone interested in GP, USD, I think we'll get to 110, maybe above it. We would look to sell up here with a stop behind the big red. We'll do that in the member centre. We haven't been looking of pound pairs up until today. We've stayed out the market due to the excessive volatility. But the price action here, very significant today. That tail, new tail low, or new new low for me, and then we finish blue. Why isn't this tail the new low? Um, basically, if you look at this move down here and the way it exhausts back, it's just basically a flash crash. You've got institution or institutions have thrown in in low volume big sell orders, and there's no way of filling them on the other side. It's a vacuum, it goes down, it comes back up. You can see it, you can go and look at volume as well. We can see it on the four hour chart, there goes the big red, three blues come back up, okay? It's significant because obviously what we're doing is we're taking we've got two bodies here and a little tail, and then you've got the tail we're taking a significant reversing and finishing blue, okay? So yeah, so we think the pound is going higher, obviously the crosses, which we're going to go and take a look at. But I just want to go through the reasons very quickly why I think the pound will have uh, a decent move to the upside. So I just need to just show you a little bit of background and then we'll do uh, the three cross pairs. Right, just starting off with a uh, article I just found on FX Street. There's good few articles around the net, people's views of the pound, Credit Suisse. GPUSD scope for a test, stress test of parity. Well, at the moment, uh, we're nearly 900 pips above that. I'm not saying we won't get there, but in the short term, the pound is oversold. Now, in terms of the pound selling off, I'm sure most people are familiar with why it's gone down, but just explain briefly why and uh, then why we think there'll be a rally. Now, in terms of uh, UK uh, government, they did a budget, they just gave out tax cuts, unfunded, which increases government borrowing, okay? Which means, yeah, in terms of you know, the bond market, the amount charged for UK borrowing has obviously soared up. You can see it here, 10-year um, and 2-year gilts roaring to the upside. Now, in terms of a trigger for the GDP to go up, just bring up this article here uh, from ING. Better late than ever, the Bank of England rides the gilt market's rescue. So what they'll do is they'll come in and buy gilts and force uh, yields down. Now, that is a temporary fix. But the bad news, obviously, was the budget. People sold. And then you had a big 
yeah, the sort of crowd came in in a big weight afterwards. And, uh, you know, those traders who came in late will get flushed out the market. Well, that's what we think will happen. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the three cross pairs and I'm going to start with Euro GBP. All right, uh, Euro GBP in terms of the tail goes through the bodies. I think the bodies now should provide resistance. So the 90 level stop needs to be behind there. Where would you sell? I think this red candle tail. So basically through the 89 level. Now the stop will be behind here initially, but if we break and take out this tail, we'll bring the stop down. I'll go through that in a moment. But in terms of to correct overbought, I think we've got to get back to 87. So basically we're really pushed off to the upside. And then I think we could go down possibly to 86, okay? Now, in terms of, in every pair, there's two sides to it. We've all heard about the British pound bearish news. I think it's peaked in the short term. Uh, I'm extremely bearish of the euro. I think there's more bad news coming for eurozone uh, than the UK. So, yeah, so I think these targets are on the cards. Certainly the first one, breakthrough here. I'm looking for immediate follow through. If my logic is correct, hopefully, then we shouldn't just hang around. We should just follow through to correct overbought. So if you got through that tail, you could tuck your stop behind the big blue. Don't get my cursor on it. And then say so you got the big blue here and you got the two red bodies there. So stop could come in behind there. Just look for a follow through. Now also if you broke lower and it didn't follow through, if you can always just take the trade out. So anyway, that's Euro GBP. Next one will be GBP AUD. Uh, wild price action, obviously, it did get higher. It did make the low below this blue tail here. How would you play this one? My own view is to do it like this. Okay. Okay, so that tail low line with the body. Okay, I would say the stop 165.70. Where would you buy? Buy through there. Okay. I know we've been through once, but if we can hold and then reverse up and go through again, we should follow through to the upside, and I'm going to say up to 170. That would be a good risk to reward trade, obviously. And, you know, you're looking for a quick conclusion, either right or wrong, when you're doing these sorts of trades. OK, uh, next one I'm going to do is going to be GBP, JPY. Right, in terms of this pair, just think that level, which I'm just drawing in. Sorry if I can get my lines straight. Uh, double bodies over here. You had a poke on the blue. You briefly got through on the red. You've fallen back. If we go through again, I'm expecting the short covering rally. So I don't want to use uh, too wide a stop. I think I'm um, going to use this open here. Okay. So the open on the third candle back. We closed above it yesterday. Like I said, if we go through again, yeah, I just don't expect um, anything other than follow through to the upside, hopefully. So where could we go to on the upside? I think there. So basically just up towards the, you know, the top of the big red, just above the top of the big red. Obviously, yeah, if you do start running to the upside, you can bring the stop up. Um, in terms of swing trading over oversold, I really like it. You got decent risk to reward. You get a result quickly. Okay, so your money's working hard. Also, you know, if the price action on the breakouts that we've talked about doesn't work out, you just square off the trade or go flat. So, yeah, pound for me in the short term, a little bit oversold. And uh, yeah, I think the trades uh, offer decent risk to reward. We shall see what happens. But that is the video for today. Hope you found it useful. Take care. Have a good day.